What's up guys, my name is Guillaume, this is Thomas Guitars and Basses and today we hit the tone on You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi. Shattered a heart and you're too late, you give love a bad name. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone, the series in which I teach you guys how to get the playing and the sounding right on your favorite songs. So please don't forget to let me know in the comment section which one you'd like me to cover next and I'll get to you as soon as I can. But today we are focusing on You Give Love A Bad Name by Bon Jovi, starting with our guitar setup. Richie Sambora is massively famous for many different things, but in terms of guitars, he's just used just about everything really that was available during that time frame. And so we've got some Kramer guitars, we've got some Charvel guitars, we've got some Fender guitars, we've got, we're staying in the ballpark of like super strats, although there have been like many Gibsons as well and other sort of, you know, kind of more pointy instruments as well. But I decided to go for that super strat vibe with a humbucker in the bridge pickup because this is where we're gonna be playing that song in the shape and form and glorious color of that Charvel guitar. Of course, it doesn't have to be mandatory. This one will be linked in the description box down below as well as a few other recommendations. But I think that as long as you're staying in that ballpark, so Charvel, Fender with a humbucker in the bridge, uh, Ibanez guitars, all of these will do just fine as long as, uh, as that's a humbucker, basically. And with that said, let's jump onto our amp and pedal setup. Now Bon Jovi has been requested quite a bit on the channel, but I personally chose this song because I, I really dig that intro lead part. And it took me a long time to figure out what was actually used on it, and I'm still not 100% sure. Because there are reports of uh, people doing that it was done in post, people uh, saying that it was a, a like an old rack unit or something, or a whammy type of effect. There are many ways to go about it, many effects will do that, most mostly the whammy uh, pedal by Digitech, but I decided to go with the Harmonist PS6 by Boss, uh, which is gonna be my uh, basically octave up sort of sound, but harmonized on that first lead part. In terms of amplifiers, the choice was really complicated too, because Richie Sambora uh, was using a whole lot of different amps, a lot of Marshalls, but like vastly different Marshalls as well. Some 2000s, some JCM uh, 800, 900, some Plexis, some Fryad amps, some Fender amps, some uh, Friedman amps, and then going on obviously with Phil X, now playing with Bon Jovi and his Friedman signature head. We are in that Marshall-esque, I would say, sort of land or territory with that very characteristic mid-range. So I decided to go with the Plexi today, uh, but that doesn't have nearly enough gain uh, on its own to cover that sort of, you know, 80s hair metal style. So I'm boosting the front of it with the JHS Bonsai in the OD1 mode. A uh, lot of volume, very little gain, and I think that's doing a great job at it. So I'm gonna play the amp alone, then I'll kick in the overdrive to give you guys an idea, and then I'll kick in the uh, Harmonist PS6. <laughs> So obviously, as usual, you can use pretty much any sort of either green pedal overdrive or anything that's in the line of an OD1 or the uh, SD1 uh, pedal. That's, those are great to boost the front end of amps. It doesn't add a ton of gain, but it really helps focusing the whole thing and just adding that upper mid-range, which is really important in that era of, of rock and roll. So that's what the overdrive does, and obviously the harmonist harmonizes, and uh, it's a really cool pedal. It does a whole lot more than this, right? You can choose, like, depending on key and everything, but this isn't a demo of that pedal. It does 
the You Give Love a Bad Name uh, thing really well too. So with that said, let's go on to the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the riff. For that particular song, as well as most of Bon Jovi's catalogue, you're going to be tuned in E standard, so nothing complicated on this side. Although uh, the tabs will be displayed on the screen, they'll also be linked in the description box down below, so you can spend a little bit more time reading them if you are beginning with guitar. But with all this out of the way, let's have a look at how you can play the song exactly. Now, it's not really hard to play. I wouldn't describe it as like, that's definitely, even the lead part, uh, if you take it slow as a beginner, you can absolutely nail that. The problem is that it's one of those lead parts that where, where you not only play the guitar, but you also play the effects. And that can be a little bit trickier to manage because all of these pitch shifting modulation effects are going to react slightly differently to a whole lot of things, whether it's your dynamics, whether it's your bends, whether it's a vibrato, there's a lot going on in there that the effects are going to handle in a certain way. So I think that depending on the pitch shifting effect that you are using to, to do that intro, uh, you're gonna have to adapt your playing a little bit. I did about half as much vibrato as I usually did because of that, because the, the PS6 doesn't, it, it didn't seem to handle the vibrato so well, at least in that particular context. That is definitely gonna be one of the difficulties with that song, but otherwise fairly simple, just one super classic, great rock and roll riff. So with that said, I think that is it. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi. As usual, I hope this video was useful and that maybe you've learned a thing or two. And if so, uh, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on future episodes. Because there very well could be about your favorite song. Just let me know which one it is in the comment section and I'll get to it as soon as I can. In the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone.